I am above the petty squabbles here. I have lived for far too long to be bothered with them. Lord Harkon, remember your place. Now what is our Lord's wish? Well, well. He wants the chalice then. You've heard of the Bloodstone Chalice? It is a rather well-kept secret. The chalice has been in Lord Harkon's possession for quite some time now. It is, when used properly, able to increase the potency of our powers. He has neglected using it for ages. If he wants it filled now, then grander things are afoot. This is good. Follow me. I'll take you to it. Lord Harkon has never cared to use the chalice, relying on his more than adequate powers until now. This is an intriguing change. Excuse us. I need to fetch the Bloodstone Chalice. The Chalice? Why? What are you up to, Garan? Lord Harkon's orders, Ortheolf. Calm yourself. Our friend here has been ordered to fill the Chalice. Really? Indeed. He's off to Redwater Den. Well then, best of luck to you. Bengalmo and Ortheolf are Harkon's primary advisors. I'm sure they're quite surprised to learn that you're taking the chalice. And here we are. Now, this chalice needs to be filled directly from the blood spring that is the source of Redwater Den. But that's not enough. Once that's done, the blood of a powerful vampire needs to be added to it. Keep in mind that Redwater Den has fallen into... Well, let's just say less reputable members of society now dwell there. It's your choice whether to attempt to deal with them, or force your way through. Hurry back. You don't want to keep Lord Harkon waiting. What? Hello there. Think about these days.
too bad. The little accident you had here. Completely unexpected. Yeah, too bad. Lord Harkin's new favorite. Dead so soon after joining the family. We're just lucky I was here to return the chalice to Bengalmo so we could make sure Harkon gets it back. Wait, what? That's not what we agreed. We take it back together. Idiot. You didn't really think I'd let you walk out of here either, did you? Bengalmo wants you both dead. Well, that's just fine. Ortheon told me to finish off anyone who got in the way. You're already dead. I see you have returned. Lord Harkon will be pleased. You met Stolf and Salonia, I assume? Lord Harkon and I suspected they might follow you there. As well you should have. Welcome to the politics of Lord Harkon's court. Vingalmo and Ortheolf both long for our Lord's throne, but cannot make overt moves against him. Each sought to gain power by using his underling to kill you, and keep the chalice for himself. By ensuring the chalice reaches our lord, you have increased his power over them, and at the same time, deprived them of their little pets. You've done, Lord Harkon, two great services. Take what you've learned to heart, and be careful who you trust. Now, I believe that Lord Harkon wishes to speak with you. Thank you.